Plains Games with Jay. Welcome to Trigger Happy Havoc Dongus Rongus. This was sent to us by Cynthia. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you, Cynthia. Uh, it's still Jay's birthday. Woo! Uh, and he picked this game, and I'm very excited. Jay has never played. He is going to be taking the controller on this. I have played one and two, but I'm going to say for everyone uh, who's watching this in the comments, uh, no spoilers. Please, no spoilers for Jay. No spoilers for your fellow watchers. Some of you are going to be watching this for the first time, so I will say this is a spoiler-free playthrough. I will not be spoiling anything for Jay. I just want to see what he does and see his experience. <laughs> now, before we go into it, sure. what do you know about this game? Uh, I know, I, I recognize the distinct character designs. Mm -hmm. Very distinct. Yeah. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I know there's a bear. Mm -hmm. There's a bear that's like... Uh, oh, there's a bear. Yeah, and mm -hmm. um, very, very um, edgy anime characters. That's really all I know, because I've heard about the series for years, and people are like, oh yeah, you know, from Donkey Kong, but I was like, ah, yeah, totally, and I had no idea what the hell they're talking about. Yeah. Um, um, even when, like, you know, when I used to cosplay a lot, people were like, oh, dude, you, you totally should cosplay this character, and I was like, I don't know, I don't know who that is, like, mm -hmm. so, uh, and it was always Donkey Kong, um, but yeah, I'm excited. Um, I, I literally don't know much. I just know there's a big cast, maybe? I don't know, mm. so... Um, let's jump into it. Yeah, all right, let's New do game. this. Uh, we're going to be doing Japanese because uh, we will be in text. Ooh, interesting. Uh, uh, you decide what you want to do. What does this mean? <sighs> this might be the court stuff. What do you, what, do you, what I, should I do? I just did kind. I didn't. Okay, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally I'm like a let's go hard thing, but if it's like for, for a, I don't know what that means for this kind of game, so that's why I like. I'll say I think you're better off with kind. Okay. I wouldn't do mean, it seems annoying. Oh, there's the bear. There's the bear. Hmm. Is that the bear again? Might be. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, this nice little poo bear. Yeah, whoa, he's like, I'm sorry, what? Oh, this is unfortunate. Wait. Huh. Hmm. What? Yeah, that should be fine. Oh, um, he gets a free sh uh, trip to space. Yeah, congratulations! Wow, I've always wanted to go to space. Um. Hmm. Huh. I already have a lot of questions. Yeah, well, like what? What could we? What kind of questions could you possibly have? <laughs> um, you know, like what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> um. Mm. Oh. Wow. What an impressive ship to not burn up by, by re-entry into the atmosphere, yeah, but no, burns really up the well made. In, but yeah. it burns up the inside, yeah. like. Well crafted. Very impressive technology. So this is a rocket building game. Right. It's right, all right, about right. building rockets. Oh, okay, cool. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just huh. collecting resources, building rockets. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. There it is. Oh. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's the future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. It's a pretty cute name for a school. I like it. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. Oh, I would never get in. <laughs> no ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. Oh, God. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me. You can take over here. Before we oh, go into voice acting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, okay. So, so shut up. Okay. But his name is Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. Mm hmm Oh yes. <laughs> As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Oh, don't. <laughs> Why'd you make me Too do this? Too real. <laughs> average on the outside, average on the inside. 
I really don't have much going for me when it comes to gar grade, special abilities, even personality. Oh, come on, guy. Come on. You you got a jacket. You got a jacket? You got <laughs> I mean, eyes. yeah. I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or a mutant or whatever. Do those exist in this world? Hmm. Like, if you asked me what my favorite song was or my favorite movie or TV show... They'd all just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. All right, well, I am not this kid. This kid's a scrub. Yeah, this kid's a scrub. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I, I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary. I get it, dude. But still, here I am staying in front of the, uh, of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you would have to understand is... Well... Let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. That's the cue, right? Like, every gold text must be. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what, what is this fucking fortune? <laughs> like, yeah, it might be. Hope's Peak only invites those students who are the truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic, to to topic that there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So the preparer, I looked up some of those threads. Come on, keep it coming. Apparently my friend kind of throws them. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. The ultimate baseball what <laughs> and i saw what uh, all and all i saw was talk about ultimate students who are way beyond your average high schooler yo i want to be an ultimate student <laughs> for example one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation i guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country yo you didn't tell me fucking a love life fucking love lives in this shit yo what the <laughs> hell Whoa, whoa, who's this guy? There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Dude, this guy rules. He's hitting that ball real hard. Yeah, look, that could be my head, I guess. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. Okay, I've seen this character before. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. Maybe, you know, maybe in cosplay groups. I Yes. Junko. Okay, yeah, that sounds familiar. I don't mm. know. I don't know anything about their personalities. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize she was a fashionista. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Who is this cool mm. bar, motherfucker? <laughs> oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. Oh, ultimate biker gang leader yep. is a profession in this world. Absolutely, that rules. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. It's fucking what's your name from Zombieland Saga. Oh, Saki? Yeah. Yes. Uh, on top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest top to bottom. Don't tell me I'm like the ultimate protagonist or some shit. Like, the ultimate plain guy. <laughs> I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students uh, who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality. We get it, dude. <laughs> but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. What, your lack of personality again? How did such an unbelievable average... Yep, this high school student, blah, 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 come pick it up this ultimate high school. Okay. I mean, I guess there is a reason. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You just have to take one gla glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student at our school. <laughs> this guy... <laughs> As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. 
<laughs> Ultimate lucky student. <laughs> student, student, student. They spell it out plain as day. I got invited by pure, pure luck. luck. Pure luck. <laughs> Honestly, it's like a common writer thing. Yeah. Right? Uh, <laughs> honestly, I would probably would have been better off just declining their offer. Now I'm just imagining this kid doing a common writer henshin transformation, but he just turns. Normal. Normal. <laughs> yeah, he's but, wearing a different shirt. Yeah, but after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. I mean, that's a good prospect. Yeah. But then, actually standing in, there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I couldn't feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I just can't, I can't just stand here in front of the gates forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall. Oh, in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step toward the main hall. This is, this music's very hopeful. I'm, I'm, I really hope nothing bad happens. It's just, yeah, it's a pretty, like, you know, low-key, just kind of like, yeah, just very, oh very... Oh, my uh, God. Okay. <laughs> this is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7, 10 a.m. I wish I could see this clock. Yeah. This is amazing. This beautiful clock. Yeah, this clock. really beautiful clock. It kind of aroused me. Yeah, <laughs> the meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. Kind of like the 50 nipples go <laughs> in this clock. Too bad you can't see it. Dude, the ultimate clock goes <laughs> in this school? The ultimate nipple clock? <laughs> oh, shit. It makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm, my ner uh, calm, help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? I, I always show up early just to look around, mm. <laughs> no matter where I'm going. Uh, it'll help me uh, kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. I thought we were already in the... Oh, I guess the lobby doesn't count. It was also my first step towards a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. Um... Mementos? This is this Persona? What the? But the instant I took the f that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again, much like a parfait. <laughs> 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 like a parfait. We can get into that in a second. <laughs> in the next moment. Are we talking about it on the podcast? Oh, yeah. Everything went black. That was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized <laughs> that I'm moving to with my uncle in Bel Air. <laughs> <laughs> Into a coffee shop. The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good, ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Welcome to Despair High School? Yeah, looks fun. You want to save? Oh, I, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes. All these all these characters. A lot of characters. Oh, my God. All these friends. Mm hmm? <sighs> what? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of, the wooden, of a wooden, hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of or some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? What the heck is going on? <laughs> Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. Okay. You can use the left stick to adjust your aim. Okay. You aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the X button. Okay. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Oh, okay. Use the directional buttons or the L1 and R1 buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Okay. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? So yeah, try okay. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. L1, R1 looks... Well, it's clearly a camera. Is that a surveillance camera? 
It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to these to, <laughs> to keep weirdos from just wandering in. Oh, I see. Whoa, this mm -hmm. is kind of trippy. Oh, well, clearly I should have looked at this letter on my desk. <clears throat> That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. I'll have to clean that up la later. To clean it up now. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, what's on? What's that on the desk? An orientation guide? It's some kind of cheap-looking pamphlet, and there's some hand something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, it's like high school, right? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Is this some uh, someone's idea of a joke? Because it's really funny. This is it's so, so funny. funny. I'm like, dude, last... this is hilarious, dude. Oh my god, is, did you, I didn't know the Look ultimate. Like, oh my god, this the, is great, dude. The ultimate jokester is at this yeah. school. <laughs> What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it... Bang, bang. Yep, Into definitely metal. room. <laughs> definitely metal. Thick too, very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? That ultimate jokester. Oh, oh that's my so god! <laughs> the, the ultimate prankster Ooh. at it again! Oh my goodness, what a riot this school. Oh, this isn't the sexy clock, is it? No. <laughs> Just an ordinary boring clock. Uh, you know, I, I'm glad they let me, you know, feel at I home. The most flaccid penis <laughs> ever. <laughs> it was just after seven when I got first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Okay, let's see. Let's see. So what might have happened is I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall, and then someone carried me here? If that's true, it must mean... This is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. I... Come on, Makoto. <laughs> this, of course, is a classroom, but then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be some... Oh, there might be other students there now. Ooh, more friends. Okay, you can leave the classroom. For... Okay, but I want to see what else... I don't get TV notes on the wall. Is that important? I oh, know it's just a TV. It'll tell you like with the thing there. I like, see. Mm -hmm. There's a TV. The school is funded by a national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in there. Did you have TVs in your classroom? Yeah. You didn't? I had. They they were TVs, but they didn't work, so they had to roll in TVs anyway. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. In high school, we had them. I think. Uh, yeah, we had TVs. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Let's leave. Very colorful. Mm -hmm. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird, too. This is getting stranger by the second. And this was originally released on PSP. Really? Yeah. This game? Yeah. Oh. This, this is the PS4 remaster, but it's it's kind of cool that it was on PSP. I, honest, I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. And maybe the second one was Vita or something? I don't know, but yeah, they were on PSP. Okay. Whoa, what the heck? Also, you can press triangle yep, to bring up the map. There's a map. Okay, pull up the map, and then... Oh, whoa, this is trippy. But we gotta go to the main hall. Main hall is... Is the bear the main hall? I wonder where the, this red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Okay. Whoa, this is trippy. Some sort of radio... You can turn off the map if you want. I, I, I kind of want to... you want to learn Yeah, that, yeah, that. I just want to know where everything is. So, I guess money might be involved in this game. Well, let me just interact with it. The school store. I guess it's not open. Did you have a school store? Uh, yeah. Oh. You didn't? I don't think so. Mm. You just buy, like, like candy and, like, yeah. supplies and stuff. Oh, this is the exit, though, right? By the time I got back... Oh, this is the main hall. Okay. back. Everyone else was already there. Whoa, 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 holy shit. Whoa. What it's, a lot, it's a lot of kids. Yeah, what the heck? Whoa. Whoa, whoa. That that person has an ice cream cone for her hair. That person That person's hair is crazy as a porcupine. Whoa. There's like turrets on the ceiling. <laughs> That person's like ripped. 
standing before me were the ultimate students that have been handpicked by the school. <laughs> Alright, where's the ultimate prankster? I want to meet that yeah, guy. Where's that hilarious guy? <laughs> I looked around at everyone who's gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Yeah, as this camera motion <laughs> <laughs> suggests. I know when I go to a party, I just go like, I just pan the room. Yeah, yeah just like, like a turret. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear, I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. This is very stylish. Yeah, the style is really cool. Um, how's it going? My name's Makoto Nayagi. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and all of a sudden I was just asleep. <laughs> Which one of you is the prankster? <laughs> Whoa, you too? Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. So strange, I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp? To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? The hell? That was no time for friggin' introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? That, that, that's a good point. Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way, then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for, uh, for now. So I guess this is a good, as good as chance. Oh wait, <laughs> this is as good a chance I'm, as I'm going to get. I already looked up, uh, looked everyone up on that Hope's Peaks Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. So how we'll tackle Makoto is if it's a character that. You are voicing. I'll switch. I'll I'll be Makoto. Sure, sure. So that's not just only. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully, I remember who I'm. Who I did voices I for. Remember, just I remember. I remember. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Amen. Student, press X to talk to them. Okay. Okay. Who would you like to talk to? Uh. Oh, wait, is this limited? Am I gonna like not have as many chances to talk to everybody? You want me to answer that question? For yes, you? actually. Uh, you will talk to everyone. I'm okay. Gonna, okay. Yeah. Cool. 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 All right. Let's talk to this guy, Kiyotaka Ishimaru. Mm-hmm. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Whoa. Oh shit. Ultimate moral compass? I can get behind this guy. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. Hmm. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. <laughs> anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Nagi, right? A voice guide for this guy? Think, uh, what's the what's the guy from My Hero? Glasses. Oh, Ida? Yeah, do your best, Ida. <laughs> do my best, J. Michael Tatum. Or, be that, but like or that's Kaito sort of, Ishikawa. Just like very, oh, this yeah. Story, yeah, yeah. That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. There you go. And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Right. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it. Right? Right. This guy is kind of annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's great. I love him. <laughs> uh, Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm... Oh, she's there's voice acting. Okay. Oh. Toko Fuk Fukawa. Ultimate writing prodigy? Okay. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she got she was ten that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> then two years ago, she released "So Lingers the Ocean," a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pole. <laughs> that rules. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? Uh, but I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type. What's, what, with her masterpiece being a romance and all? What, 
It's not polite to stare, you know. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. <laughs> filthy creature? No, I just thought... I know what you just thought. You just thought you've n never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. No, no, no that, that's not what I was thinking at all. Don't bother trying to l lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you, I know you can't stand looking at me. Well, whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow. Talk about an inferiority complex. I was like, I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Damn. Huh. <laughs> Okay, let's talk to this person. Sayaka Maizono? Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. The ultimate pops to say, oh, this is the, oh, this is the love of life. <laughs> the way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate, ultimate pop sensation! She's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. Hmm, did we meet before? I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive! Did you hear me? I'm psychic. <laughs> huh? Kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Huh? Hey, by any chance... Now what? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did you... Jeez, you guys! How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, sorry, I, I just got carried away, I guess. Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. <laughs> You're right. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. Yo, I'm trying to get with her right now. Yo, what the fuck? Is an idol. Here, Dude, tomorrow? What? It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. Thanks, Captain Cockblock! <laughs> but it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like you said, we can talk later. Interesting, interesting. Alright. Leon Kuwata? Okay. Yo, the name's Leon Kawata. What's up? Ultimate baseball star. Oh, this is the baseball guy. All right, cool. I recognize that name. He played for the National High School champs as their cleanup hitter. The ultimate baseball star. <laughs> and that superb athletic specimen is... You? Seriously? Yeah, he looks different. Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just... Surprised? I, I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. What? Respecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. What? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously. I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of the national championship regulations. But now I refuse to cut my hair. And I'm not going to dye it back to normal either. Actually, uh, can I be totally honest with you? I don't like baseball. Like at all. <laughs> I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced and he was still this team's star player. He's some kind of prodigy. Some kind of ultimate star! <laughs> and as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting to music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? I'm gonna be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar. And we're set! This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is, like, super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. <laughs> I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. This guy's cool. I like him. <laughs> Hifumi Yamada. I am Hifumi Yamada, but if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega, I don't mind. Oh, my God. Ultimate fanfic <laughs> creator. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> yes. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? Well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fan fickle creator. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. How big was your fucking school? <laughs> <laughs> Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. <laughs> I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nyagi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What, what kind of meaning? It's about embracing our basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> I think this might be, we got met five. We, we met five. You want to end an episode here yeah, and meet yeah. some more people next time? So far, I'm a big fan of of uh, Leon. Mm -hmm. And um, even though he got in the way, I do like uh, Ish Ish uh, uh, Ichimaru. Ichimaru, yeah, Taka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh -huh. he's fun. He's mm. fun. Okay. Right. Cool. Uh, cool. We will see you. We'll meet some more people next, next time. time. Bye.